If you're planning on competing in NaNoWriMo this year, and you use Scrivener, and you're using a Windows version of Scrivener, you might think that you're at a disadvantage from the people who use Scrivener on Mac. And that's because in Mac, they use a voice-to-text tool that isn't available in the Windows Scrivener version. But there is a workaround, and one of the workarounds, one of the two workarounds that I'm going to show you work better than the Mac version of voice-to-text typing. And let me show you what it is, and it's free, so don't worry about that. If you have a Windows machine, you can activate Cortana from directly within Scrivener. So here I am in my Scrivener document that I am going to be working on for NaNoWriMo this year. If I press the Windows button on my keyboard and the H button at the same time, it opens up this Cortana tab at the very top. If I click on this, Cortana will start listening to me and will do voice to text. So let's watch this. It's listening, we get the beep. I press in here, comma, and Cortana will start tracking my voice, period. But as you can see, comma, there's a huge problem with using Cortana right now, period. According to me, there's a problem anyway, period. And the problem is this. Did you notice the lag time that it took for Cortana to catch up with me as I'm talking, question mark? New line. Yes, Cortana takes forever, period. And this drives me bonkers, period. Which is why I can't use Cortana as a voice-to-text tool. If you can, great, period. But this slow lag time really doesn't work for me, period. So let me show you the option that I use. I instead will go to Google Docs, and Google Docs has a great voice typing tool. I will do tools and then uh, activate voice typing. It took it away since I already had it there, but I will go tools and then voice typing. Click on this and notice the difference, period. You can see the difference right away, comma, can't you, question mark, new line, Google Voice typing tracks me pretty closely, period. There's not that much of a lag time, period. So you might be saying at this point, comma, but wait, period. You're not in Scrivener while you're doing this, Laura, period. You're in Google Docs, period. You're right, period. And here's what I do, period. After I'm done typing, I will Hit Control A to grab everything in my document. I will hit Control C to copy everything. I will flip back over to Scrivener and then hit Control V and paste it all in. It's that easy. So yeah, that's my process for using voice typing within Scrivener for NaNoWriMo. And I use it because I can talk a whole lot faster than I can type, period. And after a full day of writing for work and then typing another 1,667 words for NaNoWriMo, question mark, voice typing is where it's at for me.